Looks like we're set up for a trench rescue here. Yes, sir. We're out here at the uh, Fern Creek Regional Training Center, and we got some guys out here that's doing their annual training this year. And this trailer contains the equipment that we use in those rescues. Yes, sir. We have three of them throughout the county. Yeah. So they're located strategically. Yes, sir. What's the value of one of these trailers uh, with the equipment in it? Estimate between one hundred seventy-five to $250,000. Now, one of the things about a trench rescue is it doesn't happen quick. No, sir, they can go as long as six to eight hours, and we've had one in Metro Louisville that lasted 16 and a half. How many members are on this highly specialized team? 100 people. Wow, and training, of course, is the backbone, as we've seen in all of these segments we've done. It's the backbone of keeping this team on the cutting edge. Yes, sir, we train, you know, we do annual trainings, or quarterly trainings, four times a year. And we try to get everybody in the ground and try new techniques and new teachings. Can I get you to show us what goes on at a trench rescue? Sure, come on. All right, Reed, this is our trench prop. And the concrete is supposed to simulate the dirt. Okay. The tools that you have in your hand, obviously you're familiar with that yeah, one. Yeah, we've all been raised you on these. these yeah, the old, just... old military latrine shovel. <laughs> and um, this is our modified, modified shovel. Okay. And we generally... When we get around work, garden tools. working around the patient, we'll use something like this. So you, every bit of the dirt that you have to move, you don't just move it. We it take goes it out. out of the trench. It, it goes out. We want it out of our way. So you have a bucket brigade up up top. Correct. And you put it in a the bucket. They take it out. Correct. Okay. And it's it, that that is probably the hardest job on the team. Wow. So they'll be wore out in about 10, 15 minutes. Now, these are concrete walls here, but in reality, they're, they're dirt walls. Correct. And we've got to shore them up before we do anything, okay? The guys are going to lower down an air shore for us. You get it about where you want. Okay, let's come on down a little more with it. All right, you just tell the guys what you need to do, okay, they'll do uh, it. Bring her down just a tad more. Uh, give me about another foot, right about there. Now, this is pneumatic driven, obviously. Correct. About 150 pounds Correct. of pressure. Now, we're, we're, we look pretty good. We're set here. You look level? Yep. We're level, and what's the command? Shoot, I'll okay. let you say it. Okay, shoot! It's in place, now we're gonna lock it in place. Correct. Basically, take a pin. Well, you slide this collar all the way back. I'm gonna take this rope off. At this point, I can let go. It's yes, not going anywhere. it's not going anywhere. Now it's ours. Your next command is actually hold. Hold! And now you wanna find a hold that you can put a pin in. Okay. And then the next thing we need to do is put nails in. Okay, we're good here. Your next command is now release. Okay, release. Now, we have to continue though, trenching, or, or shoring up to get to, the, to get to the person to be rescued. Correct. Reed, I'm gonna show you how tight one of our trench simulator props is. This kind of simulates one of the trench rescues we had. Uh, John Will Drive in the early 2000s. That was a really long-term rescue there you had in probably the worst of all circumstances. Correct, and, and the bad part is, is once you start putting wood in, you start losing inches, and at one point we were down to 16 inches working sideways trying to get to the patient. And that one took how many hours? At 16 and a half. What we see here is, is just a small portion of what is a very highly specialized service. Correct. Uh, after trench, you go into building collapse and, and heavy lifting and rigging. Tell you what, if, you, if you'll go along with it, we'd like to come back in the fall and do a part two on this and show the other aspects of this, of, of trench rescue. Yeah, it's perfect because we're doing heavy lifting and rigging in October. We'll be here.